There's literally nothing that the left fears more than in allowing the American people to decide who should be their president. A quick review of the left-wing antics proved that. They wanted to invoke the 25th Amendment with Trump, which would have declared the president unfit for office. Then they impeached Trump not once but twice, failed to convict him and remove him from office, however. And now they're pushing for the 14th Amendment to keep Trump off the ballots in 2024. State ballots, several states like New Hampshire, Michigan, and Arizona are already bracing for lawsuits. It's known as the disqualification clause used to prohibit anyone from holding office if they engaged in insurrection or rebellion. But here's the Here's the rub, really. Donald Trump was never charged for such a crime. Any rational person would realize that if there were a case for it, he'd be charged with insurrection, but he wasn't, which is why the use of the 14th Amendment to deny people the, the right to decide who should be the president would do irreparable damage to the country. But then again, perhaps that's the objective. If they can't assume power, bring down the system and pave the path for their liberal utopia. Join me now is senior Trump 2020 advisor and host of the Right View podcast, Laura Trump. Good to have you back again, Laura. By the way, thank you for, for locking the fort down for me on Friday. <laughs> this whole idea of the 14th Amendment, Megyn Kelly was on earlier. A lawyer said no chance this is going to go through. By, by the time it got to the Supreme Court, it might, it might lose nine to nothing if the three liberals, uh, uh, SCOTUS judges, were honest. Not sure they are. Um, forget that for a second, but what? Can you imagine the damage that they're inflicting by trying to drum up something out of the Constitution to stop your father-in-law? I mean, it's it's rather unbelievable. First of all, let me just say thank you for having me. I did my best to fill your shoes. I know I, I probably didn't get all the way there, but I did my best for you. So thanks for having me uh, exactly. fill in. It was a pleasure. But the truth is, Eric, you know, we know what this has all been about from the beginning with Donald Trump. You kind of just went through the play-by-play -play of the things they've already tried with him. They talked about the 25th Amendment when he was in office. Obviously, it's funny that they're not talking about it when there is a very clear issue with the current president of the United States, Joe Biden. Funny how that works. Um, they've tried everything they could now in the past year as it relates to charging Donald Trump with crimes that he didn't even commit. How many indictments have we seen against my father-in-law? And they were, of course, hoping that that was going to damage him in some way and prevent people from actually wanting to vote for him. But the opposite has obviously happened. You see his poll numbers continuing to surge and go up because people are starting to realize what they are doing to Donald Trump is wholly un-American, incredibly damaging to our constitutional republic. We, the people, are to be the ones who decide our representatives. We're the ones who are supposed to decide who we want as president, not a bunch of hacks in the swamp in Washington, D.C. And then you come to this 14th Amendment nonsense. First of all, I heard you talking to Sarah Palin. There was no insurrection, obviously. So the fact that they're even going to try and draw something as it relates to Donald Trump in this is insane. But we all know that they've tried everything else. So this seems like another thing to throw against the wall, see if it sticks here. Um, and we know that they've had this January 6th stuff in their back pocket for a long time. They tried to get people to care about it with all of the, the hysteria that they, you know, all the production value around their, their January 6th stuff. No one really cared about it because nothing ultimately came of that day, thank God. Um, but it's really amazing to see that they will go to the ends of the earth to do anything they can to prevent one man, Donald Trump, from ever getting back in that White House. And quite frankly, that tells you all you need to know about the fact that he's probably the best person to be back in that White House. You know, we talk about this a lot with you, this whole idea of all these court dates he's going to have coming up, coinciding almost perfectly with primaries, caucuses and whatnot. This does, it doesn't hurt him, though. Uh, it, it's the most yeah. bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. The more they do that, the more they pull him off the campaign trail and persecute him, the more support he does wind up getting. Yeah, and it's amazing, especially with this mugshot. That's the most recent thing that they thought, well, that'll really you know, put the nail in the coffin for Donald Trump. And I'll tell you what, Eric, it really kind of rallied more support around him than I think they ever anticipated, because anyone out there who has been wronged by this system, the same system that is going against Donald Trump right now, the same system that a, a guy who's the most recognizable in the world needed a mugshot, are you kidding me? 
they all see themselves in that mugshot now of Donald Trump. And he has garnered so much more support. Uh, it's sort of amazing. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll do everything they can to trip him up, keep him out of uh, the areas where he needs to be campaigning. The great news is that Donald Trump is one of the most popular figures in the world. If he wants to get a message out, he will get it out. He will continue to campaign. Nothing has stopped him before. And I guarantee you, this will be no different. He will never quit. He will never back down. He will continue. And I believe he'll be the 47th president of the United States. Yeah, like I said, we saw we saw defendants coming out or accused like Rudy Giuliani, some of the other people, the other 18, 17 or 18, and they came out with a, a bit of a concerned face. Trump came out and it was like, he was more focused than maybe I've ever seen him. And Laura, you know, I've known the guy almost 30, maybe more than 30 years. That was the most focused I've ever seen him. Laura Trump, thank you so much for joining us. And again, thank you for locking down the balance last week. Thank you. You got it.